Got the, got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Rounds, hundred rounds, hold me down. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, as y'all can see, we got this like classy, chic type of bob thing going on. And one, as y'all gonna see throughout the video, we were aiming for something totally different. But it was a lot of circumstances that just did not work out with us. But y'all know we don't give up. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep trying and we're going to make it work. And that's what we did right here. So if you want to see how I intended to do the look and how I got here, make sure y'all keep watching. Okay, so first things first. Yeah, I know I have to tone the hair with my shimmer lights. So I'm just taking my shimmer lights, doing like, I guess, a watercolor method. And I'm going to tone this hair. Now be very careful because this water was a burning. I almost burnt my hands trying to mix this in so be very careful and i don't want to say necessarily you have to use hot water i just think hot water is more effective so i use hot water so then i went ahead and just dipped their hair in and out of the shimmer lights because it can stain really fast a lot of people who aren't too experienced with using shimmer lights tend to have that problem like it'll leave a big purple streak and they panic that was me the first time i used it so if you just stand in dip it in and out you'll be fine now i do do this a few times before i do actually let it sit which is what i wound up doing i let it sit for about 30 minutes and i toned it to the color that you guys are about to see in a few all right so i went ahead and put the wig on my mannequin head so first I wanted to put the wig on my mannequin head just to kind of see where I want the ombre to sit and I did want it to be um, an asymmetrical bob but we don't have enough parting space on the side so I had to make it a center part but it's okay y'all know we're going to make it work anyway. So I put it in the center part of my mannequin head just to kind of see where I wanted the ombre to start and I know I will be cutting it as well. So I did want a pretty short bob so I'm probably going to cut it about here. Or maybe even a little bit shorter but I'm gonna take the pink probably up about right here so I'm just trying to I wish I could like take like a little mark or take some paint or something <laughs> like draw a line but I don't want like a lot of demarcation I still might do it anyway just to see what happens so actually yeah I'm gonna draw like a little line with the hair dye very faint but just so I can get an idea but you never want to dip it straight into a certain point it's supposed to be an ombre not like a blunt ombre that's very nasty distasteful and ugly looking so I'm just gonna make a little line and then we're gonna go ahead with the watercolor All right, y'all, so I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the hair dye. I don't know if it's the hair. I don't know. But I literally sat it in the pink dye. You can still see the pink on the towel. Let me make it darker so y'all can see. You can still see the pink on the towel. It was sitting in the pink dye, and it turned, like, more platinum. You see how this is more so blonde, and this is a little darker? I don't know if you can see the contrast. Let me show y'all in a better light. So you see how compared, oh, hold on. 
this is the best way I could show it. But you see how this compared to this is way darker. Like it's way darker. I don't know what that was about. I really, I don't know if I just did something good. I don't know what's going on. But I definitely wanted pink ends. And I, when I did my pastel pink before, I did use the Adore color. So maybe Kiss is not the best for watercolor because that never happened to me before. But y'all know I'm going to still make this work. So I think I'm going to still style this up real cute and give it an everyday look being that it is giving like Bobby on. I'm still going to do like a cute style. So let me let this hair dry or whatever. And we just going to see what we going to cook up from there. But I really just had to show y'all that because I don't know what that was about. So being that that didn't work out and it was a complete fail, I decided to just do like a regular blonde bob hairstyle. So right now I'm just taking my natural edges. Y'all know I had my hair out for a little second, probably like a week and change, maybe two weeks at this point. And I'm just slicking my hair back and putting it up. I'm giving it a rest from the braids because my hair is super thin. I'm really trying to think of my hair and everybody's telling me so many different ways, but y'all, yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm just using my hair growth oil and I'm just letting my hair breathe under my wigs. I'm not putting it in any braids or anything like that. I'm just trying to try a little bit different. So this is how I wear my um, hair under my wigs. And as you can see, it's pretty flat, no big deal. So it's working for me. So in case anybody else wanted to know, your hair's kind of thin and you're tired of braids, but you wear wigs like me, you can definitely just do this method. Now, to hold on my bowl cap, I'm going to be using Got To Be and the adhesive. Usually, I just go straight and use the adhesive because it gives it a better hold. But, y'all, yeah, I was just so over it, the fact that that first look didn't come out right. So, I just put the adhesive on the air, like, tabs part of my wig because that's where it needs to hold the most. And then I took the Got To Be spray and applied it to the rest, and it worked pretty fine. You can still use Got To Be for the, the air part, but... Sometimes when that start lifting, it just start rolling and I don't got time. But when you put that adhesive, it's going to stick and it's going to stay. So that's what I really wanted for this look. So yeah, I already know what I'm doing right now. I just got to blend my bowl cap and get an extra bold looking. And right now I'm taking my rat tail comb and I'm just going to outline where exactly I want to cut and where I'm going to apply the makeup. Because once you apply the makeup, it's kind of hard to see where your hairline stops. So I like to outline it first before I put the makeup. Just so I make sure like, I don't cut any hair or I don't cut too far back, too far in front, you know, so on and so forth. And then when you guys see in the end how I wound up cutting it, it actually came out super perfect. So... If you didn't know, this is a little technique that I use that helps me protect my edges. been asking me to do like a certain curling technique and I'm still trying to master it and I feel like I'm going to master it it's just taking me a little while and I think I don't know if I got to do it on longer hair I don't know if I got to change the iron I don't know if I have to take some more sections but I'm working on it y'all know practice makes perfect with me I'm never gonna get up so um, I have this look that I have planned to do um, in a few days and I'm actually gonna try this technique again and see if it actually comes out nice like that because I had a look in mind and didn't come out exactly how I wanted it but it was still doable so I'm just showing y'all trial and error trial and error yeah I know I'm, I'm always showing y'all when I'm slain and doing it perfect so I'm gonna show y'all when I'm still learning and stuff like that
that I'm not using my adhesive, I'm gonna be pre-cutting my lace just so I can use my olive oil um, hair holding spray. And I just find this the best method to do it so far because before I used to cut off the whole thing and it just used to be so just, oh my goodness, messy. But being that I only cut the sides first, being that the middle is still there, it kind of gives me some type of sense of control and like the hair is not going everywhere and it's not sliding everywhere. So I do this method and I just use the blow dry and the comb just to like hold it down and push it in the... um holding spray in and it's good for a temporary hold. I wouldn't wear this outside for too, too long, especially right now during the summertime, but it definitely it give you a good temporary hold. Like it's, it's pretty sturdy, but don't go to the club with this one because it's coming right off. I'm telling you right now. y'all so i think i'm gonna just leave it here it's giving very classy rich woman right now even though it didn't turn out the way we thought it was gonna turn out it still came out super cute and it's very classy a nice classy look a part of me want to do like a dark root maybe but actually i think i'm going to um define my part just a little bit just to get some bring some color back into there because we did lose a bit of color and one thing about it i don't like 613 hair that looks mad ashy that's a bad embarrassment so we just gonna add some color to this part right here okay i swear it makes such a difference i feel like that looks just so much better i don't feel like i have to add any makeup to the front i don't want to ruin it so yes y'all this is what it looks like and i don't know how i'm gonna style it again like i don't know if i'm gonna wind up going back in to changing it for my pictures or whatever but this is how i got it right now and um yeah y'all this is what we working with right now so let me know what y'all think in the comments down below this is kind of a tedious process but we did it we did it we made it to the end and we got it to look decent as always so with that being said Make sure y'all leave me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all so much. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. What should we call this week? Because I know I'm definitely going to put this in a week. I ain't going to say too much. I'm not going to say too much. Anyways, I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.
Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, as y'all can see, we got this like classy, chic type of bob thing going on. And one, as y'all gonna see throughout the video, we were aiming for something totally different. But it was a lot of circumstances that just did not work out with us. But y'all know we don't give up. We're not gonna give up. We're gonna keep trying and we're gonna make it work. And that's what we did right here. So if you wanna see how I intended to do the look and how I got here, make sure y'all keep watching. Got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses have to give me, they don't hold me down. 